You know, as much as I love modern day animated films, most of them are just computer animated. Not that I have anything against them, but I would just love to see a hand-drawn animated film released in theaters worldwide. Come on, give me a break! When am I ever going to see one? Hey guys, Eli Copperman here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a Japanese animated film. And not one by Studio Ghibli. Oh, no, 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 no. Today's film comes from Comix Wave Films, the same company behind Children Who Chase Lost Voices and The Garden of Words. Based off a visual novel from the writer and director of this film, Makoto Shinkai, this film is called Your Name. Although released last year in Japan, it finally came out in North America on April 7th. And while I'm not the biggest fan of Japanese animation, I have seen some really good Japanese animated films over the years. Whether it be the works of Hayao Miyazaki or Isao Takahata, Wolf Children, Summer Wars, Akira, whatever. And now comes this. A 2D animated film released in theaters worldwide. Ugh, finally! I've been missing those. So, I saw the film today. What did I think of it? So to start off, let's talk about the storyline. Mitsuha is the daughter of the mayor of a small mountain town. She's a straightforward high school girl who lives with her sister and her grandmother and has no qualms about letting it be known that she's uninterested in Shinto rituals or helping her father's electoral campaign. Instead, she dreams of leaving the boring town and trying her luck in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Taki is a high school boy in Tokyo who works part-time in an Italian restaurant and aspires to become an architect or an artist. Every night, he has a strange dream where he becomes a high school girl in a small mountain town. And thus the story builds upon that mystery. Did that confuse you? Do not blame yourself if it did. This is not an easy movie to follow. In fact, this is on the same level of Inception and Kubo and the Two Strings in terms of having to really pay attention to narrow down the story piece by piece. But man is it engaging! From the beginning, I was instantly hooked into these characters' lives. I related to them so much as someone who is still in high school and struggles with those daily activities. But as the story kept on building and building, I was constantly asking myself, Whoa! Wow! So many unique turns and twists and wow! I'm not going to spoil the twist because oh boy would that go into a lot of spoiler territory. But for now, let's just say that as the story keeps building and building and you're asking more and more questions, man are you going to feel heartbroken. That's all I'm going to say for the story right now. I'd go on about it, but like I said, spoilers! Now with that said, on to the characters. I freaking loved them so much. They are some of the best characters I've ever seen in an animated film, let alone a movie in general. I love how Mitsuha is a girl who doesn't really like her town and just wants to move out. Oh my god, so freaking relatable! And Taki, despite being short-tempered, it makes total sense. He's not too sure of building up the courage to really go out somewhere in the world. But then that all changes as he learns about Mitsuha and her town Imori. I'm not going to say anything else, remember, spoilers. But man, they are just so well-developed, three-dimensional, you really feel for them. And the voice actors did great jobs, whether it be expressing their emotions, giving them great comedic timing and delivery, or just emoting them as best as they could. And man, did they deliver. I also really dug the supporting cast, not only because their voice actors did great jobs, but they also seemed really genuine to the main characters, depending on who they were with. Whether it be Mitsuha's high school friends, or Taki's work friends, despite being very concerned about their friends, considering the huge dilemmas that go around in their lives, and the main conflict of the story, but it makes sense, because once again, they care about them. That's what friends are like. Granted, other characters like Mitsuha's dad is just the, the typical idiot, powered, hungry mayor, and her sister is cute and all, but eh, she's just kind of forgettable. The grandma of Mitsuha, on the other hand, aka the head of the family shrine, which means shrine water, and the master of Kumi Imo, one of their family's traditions, man, she has so much knowledge of their traditions that it really makes you want to research about that, but that's for another day. The animation is absolutely gorgeous. It looks so crisp and so fluent. It's just so beautiful and artsy. I love it. The character designs look very well designed, with the pseudo-realistic look really fitting the emotional drama of the film. 
Although sometimes stilted, the character animation can be quite fluent when done well, whether it be the characters running or their walk cycles, and the emotions and facial expressions that the animators convey are quite unique. Not to mention the effects animation is absolutely gorgeous. There's barely an animation error to be found, and the scenery and backgrounds, oh, gorgeous. Ugh. It really makes you want to go to Japan. But I think another real highlight of the movie is the music. Talk about freaking heartbreaking. It is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, seriously, guys, I'm not kidding when I say that this music will definitely be on someone's emotional soundtrack list sometime soon. It is that deep and powerful. It hits just the right key points, and it never feels phoned in and unnecessary. Oh, yeah, and there's a lot of quiet moments that come at just the right time as well. Makes it all the more better and more unique and unexpected. But the thing that really sells this movie is the relation between Taki and Mitsuha. Alongside the relation between nature, religion, and technology that they constantly see throughout their own lives, and not to mention their own lives being swapped counterintuitive, but upon their discoveries, they really begin to rethink how they should live their lives, whether it be Taki's job or Mitsuha's life at school. And as the film progresses, Taki tries to walk the mile in her shoes so he can find out more about her and what the major dilemma of her town was all about, especially with the center of the story. Throughout their different lives, there are a lot of cheesy and sappy moments, but they fit the style of the movie because, well, life is full with a lot of cheese. But it's also filled with a lot of heartbreaks that no one would have ever expected, and that's what Taki learns about, as well as Mitsuha. Also, I absolutely adored that ending. It was absolutely perfect in the context of the movie, and it was on the same level of an American tale of having such a satisfying and emotional resolution. Thank you so much, movie. With great drama, fully fleshed out characters, stunning animation, and great voice acting comes a movie as good as your name. Even if you're not a fan of teen dramas nowadays, this film is still worth checking out just to see all the unique ideologies and stunning animation brought onto the screen. And come on, it's a hand-drawn animated film released in theaters worldwide. I think I'm intrigued to check out more of Makoto Shinkai's work. Or hey, more of the studio's work. Whichever. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me in this review. Believe me, I had no idea this movie was going to be this good. I wasn't anticipating most of the animated films this year. Heck, I didn't even know this film came out until last week. But oh man, was it worth it. This movie is absolutely phenomenal. You must see it. And because of how good it is... I'm giving your name a 9 out of 10. It is so freaking fantastic. Almost everything about it works so well. And guys, please see this movie. Whatever time you can, please go see it. It is worth your time. It is so good, so heartbreaking, so devastating. It's just absolutely beautiful. And that's all there is to say. So until then, sayonara.